Safe Harbor is a homeless shelter for Cumberland County. Um, we provide emergency shelter for women and families, and then we have a bridge housing program that has um, that they're allowed to move over to to help them um, meet their goals and objectives to move on for permanent housing. Our challenge is to meet head on the three problems forcing people into a shelter: low wages, lack of affordable housing, and physical or mental health issues. A lot of single single moms uh, that come from domestic violence situations. We have people that have lost their jobs. We have people that have lost their homes because of the economy. Um, things have changed a lot within the last year because of what's happened with our economy. I believe that jobs have a lot of a lot of my clients can't find jobs. So that's a lot of my clientele is the ones that just can't afford to be living out in an apartment or a house on their own because they don't have an income. The biggest threat to Safe Harbor, unfortunately, is the fact that uh, it's a homeless shelter that shelters about 100 people a night, and that takes a lot of money. And that expense is a constant drain on everything that comes in this building. Our biggest challenge is to get the word out about Safe Harbor. Our biggest challenge is the fact that we are a homeless shelter right in the center of an adorable little town up the street from a really cool college, and it's got, a, you know, it's got all this great stuff going on and no one would ever know we're a homeless shelter. No one would ever cross the street not to walk by us. No one sees people out there smoking or trading drugs or it's not a dangerous place. You'd never know it wasn't still the James Wilson Hotel. And all of that service that's provided and all that peaceful feeling and all that part of the community that we do, that all makes us quiet, makes us unknown because we're not a bunch of, of trouble in the middle of the town that everybody knows about, so we're easy to forget. One that had the most impact on me while I've been here at Safe Harbor would be the lady that I had here a couple years ago that came from Harrisburg uh, from the projects over there with two young children and her house got burnt down by a drug dealer. And her uh, father of the children was incarcerated and she came from a domestic violence situation so she kind of left Harrisburg and came to Cumberland County to start over. She ended up getting her uh, certified nursing assistant degree and um, getting her in place and, and she's made a life for herself. I think everybody should work in the social field for a while in their life just to see how the other people actually have it because people don't understand. I uh, love the name Safe Harbor because it is a safe harbor for people like me. At the time, I was so depressed, I uh, contemplated suicide several times. I was lonely for my husband, you know. Um, <clears throat> but the people here treat you with such respect. That's what I love about this place. If, if you can look around your home and say, this is what I have that makes this a home, that's what we need, because this is a lot of people's home. Um, people can drop off uh, toothpaste, toothbrushes, uh, food. All we need little we need things that, that you wouldn't even think. We need toys. You know, we have at any given time 20 or more children living here. But if you can include us in your list of things that are a priority, there's a better chance that we'll be here when that woman has the problem that she had. Or when somebody gets themselves sober enough to realize they need to get back on their feet. That's what we're here for. Our job is not to judge. Our job is to shelter. Judging people is for somebody else. We have so many people who have just had one knock after another and for want of anything else this woman now has a place where the wolves will not be barking at her door for a, at least a year. And when I was hugging her, all I could think of was, she, everyone might look at this woman and say, that poor woman's homeless. My entire feeling was, I'm so glad she's alive. <laughs> Things could be worse for her. So I'm, I guess the, the problem and the solution for now is the same thing, which is there is a place in the, in the world like Safe Harbor. 
homelessness is here to stay and so hopefully safe harbors here to stay.